Hey, what's up everybody? Happy New Year. Hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, my name's Tobias and welcome to Microphone Mondays where I upload new microphone reviews and comparisons every Monday. And today what I have for you guys is a review of this wireless handheld dynamic microphone by the brand Alvoxcon. And the actual model of this microphone is called the Alvoxcon UM410. And this is actually the third microphone that I'll be doing a review of by the brand Alvoxcon. And from what I saw, on the Amazon page is that the receiver to this microphone kit looks identical to the receiver in another microphone kit that I got by Alvoxcon called the Alvoxcon UM310. If you would like to see the review I did of the Alvoxcon UM310, I'll go ahead and put the link to that down in the description below. And before we get started with this, let's go ahead and take a look at the Amazon page. As you can see here, there are two models that you can choose from. And the one that I have here is the small handheld microphone and it goes for $54.99. And then as you can see, there is the other option for the large handheld microphone, which goes for $64.99. And I'll go ahead and put this Amazon link down in the description below in case you want to take a look at that for yourself. And from what I saw, it looks like there are really only two differences between the small option and the large option. The first is that the small handheld microphone is powered by a rechargeable battery, while the large handheld microphone is powered by two AA batteries. And the other difference is that the small handheld microphone should get a range of 60 feet, while the large handheld microphone should get a range of 80 feet. So let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing, then I'll do a demonstration, and then I'll give you guys my final review of this wireless mic kit. And just really quick, if you do like this video or if it helps you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. And let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so this is everything that came inside the box right here. Of course, we have some documentation over here, a little warning thing, a paper that tells you how to get support. Right here, we have the user manual. Right here, we have the actual microphone, of course. And if you look at the front of it, there is an on and off switch. And then if you look at the bottom of it, there is a port where you can plug in the charging cable, which is right here. This right here is the charging cable. And if you look above that, you'll see that there are two OTG adapters, one for an iPhone and one for an Android device. These are the adapters that you will need to plug the receiver into your smartphone. And right below that, you'll see that they included a TRS cable, which you can also plug into the back of the receiver where you see that little headphone jack. You can actually plug that TRS cable into the back of the receiver and use that as like a line out to a speaker system. So you can actually use this microphone over a speaker system if you would like to or you can just plug in a pair of headphones so that you can monitor your audio. So pretty cool guys, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and charge up the microphone and then I'll be right back and we'll test it out. Okay guys, so I'm back. I let the microphone charge for a while and now it is fully charged. Out of the box, I want to estimate that it took less than 45 minutes to fully charge the microphone. I'm not exactly sure, but I left the microphone alone for 45 minutes and when I came back, it was done charging. So sometime within that 45 minutes, the microphone was completely charged. I went ahead and took a look at the instruction manual. It was pretty much self-explanatory. The only thing I was unsure of was how to change the channel on the microphone and the instructions say that what you do is you unscrew the bottom of the microphone, open it up, there's going to be a little button on the back of the battery pack. You push that button and that should change the channel. When you change the channel, the microphone will once again automatically pair with the receiver and that's all you have to do to change the channel just in case you are getting some kind of interference in your audio. So now let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to start by plugging the receiver into my computer and then after that we'll go ahead and plug the receiver into my iPhone XR and record with that. So 
So I'm recording to Logic Pro and once I plugged in the receiver and turned on the microphone, Logic Pro already recognized the microphone as USB PNP audio device. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click use. And when I go into my system preferences, you could also see it here, it says USB PNP audio device. Okay guys, so the audio that you are now hearing is coming from the Alvoxcon UM410. I have it right here. I'm recording to Logic Pro. And I'm actually pretty impressed by how the audio sounds. I'm actually monitoring the audio as I record this. And we're actually getting some pretty decent audio and we're not even getting a very loud noise floor, which is something that I am used to seeing pretty often in these like less expensive wireless mic kits. So considering that this is a $54.99 mic, I think the audio is pretty decent. One thing that I did notice when I first started using it is that I had to turn my input volume down significantly. It's only up about a quarter of the way in my system preferences because the microphone was peaking a lot. So you do have to adjust your input volume quite a bit, but once you get that adjusted, the audio is actually pretty decent. You might notice that we are getting some plosives. I have this wind muff. I'm just gonna put it on the microphone and see if it makes a difference. So now the wind muff is on the mic. From handling the microphone, you might notice that we do get some noise if you're handling the microphone, but honestly, it's not that much. This is actually sounding um, a bit better than what I thought it would sound like. I'm gonna stop talking for a few seconds and just take a listen to the noise floor. We are getting a noise floor, but in my opinion, it's not that bad, especially for an inexpensive wireless mic system like this. We are also not getting any interference. Next, let's go ahead and test it out with my iPhone XR. Okay guys, now we are recording this using my iPhone XR. I have my headphones plugged into the back of the receiver so I can monitor the audio as I record this. And once again, I think it sounds pretty good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let's see how it sounds as I move the microphone around. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down below me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back above me. I'm gonna go ahead and go from left to right. Check, 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 check. I'm gonna speak to the top of the microphone like this and I'll go ahead and aim it towards my mouth and we can see how the audio changes. Now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and kind of test out the distance. I'm not gonna be able to do it outside because it's extremely windy outside. We probably won't be able to hear anything. So I'm just gonna try it inside my room and we'll just see how it sounds as I walk around. All right guys, so I'm recording to my computer right now. Um, so let's see how far we can get from the receiver and let's just see if the audio changes. The audio shouldn't change because there is supposed to be a range of about 60 feet and we are not going to be 60 feet away from the receiver. Like I wanna say right now, we are maybe 15 feet away, maybe 15 feet away. However, there is a wall separating us from the receiver so that might impact it somehow. So I'm just gonna walk over here, check, check, check. Let's see if the audio changes at all. And now let's go ahead and walk back over to my computer. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a listen to the audio and I'll see if it cut out at any point or if we got any kind of interference. And I'm almost back, I'm almost back and I'm back. So I just got done reviewing the audio from that distance test and there actually was a split second where it does seem like there was a little bit of interference or the audio cut out for a split second. And that seemed to be the only issue that I noticed. In my opinion, it wasn't a very big deal. We did have a wall blocking us from the receiver. I feel like that might have had something to do with it, but I am pretty curious to try out the full extent of the distance that this microphone system can get. So if you guys would like to see me do that, let me know down in the comments below. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do that in this video just because it's so windy outside. And if I try to record outside, we're just gonna hear like from like the wind. So I'll have to do that in a separate video if you guys would like me to. But from what I can see in a short distance, like a few feet or so, there are no issues regarding interference or audio cutting out. 
I think the quality of the audio is pretty good, especially for a budget-friendly wireless system like this. This is probably one of the better budget-friendly wireless systems that I've actually tried out. So if you were unsure about this AlvoxCon wireless system, I could definitely say that I give it my stamp of approval. I can totally recommend it. For $55, I think this is a great buy. But anyways, guys, I would love to hear what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comments below. Once again, I will have the Amazon page for this microphone linked down in the description below in case you want to check it out for yourself. If you did like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. I post new microphone videos every Monday. I call it Microphone Mondays. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.